maybe Scott's in there. Hey, Scott. Scott, you don't have to hang out with the infected. We'll take you back, buddy. <sighs> Another day to live through. Better get started. Welcome back to Miss Survival. We're picking up just about where we left off here after the end of the last episode. Where we had, uh, well, we lost a roommate and we gained a roommate. <laughs> And who left all the doors open? Somebody's opening up all the doors. Must be Rachel, our new roommate. This is Rachel's room. She's obviously up and out already. That's nice. A nice early start. I like that. What time is it anyway? Oh, just about 9 o'clock. Yeah, time to punch in and get to work, Rachel. And I'm glad we have Rachel because we lost Scott. So, Scott was a roommate. Oh, no, he left his boots. <laughs> but he left. He just walked. He walked off the job, literally, and never came back. He went right down that road backwards looking at us didn't even wave and he never came back what the heck was he doing in here he put tape up on the corner maybe he was gonna paint his room or something I don't know so sad there's Scott's boots it's all that's left of Scott I hope we can find Scott today in fact that's what we're gonna do today is try to go locate Scott and bring him back home we're gonna try to convince him that it's not so bad living here with us we have a new roommate he might like her Rachel's really really nice we found her at a bandit camp in the last episode right we rescued her essentially they had her in a cage terrible terrible thing there she is hi rachel good morning i'm yes. up here yes yes is good okay i don't want to disturb you on your patrol go on it's nine o'clock now nine fifteen. so there you go so i'm thinking maybe if we give scott a job he'll come running back don't you think i doubt it I, I thought I tried this in the last episode, but maybe I didn't. So let's go ahead and let's assign Scott to work here. Your ally is too far from here. Oh no! Oh no! So at least we know we at least we know he's out there and he's alive. Um, but he's too far to hear our call. <laughs> so how about if we? Uh, well, let's put Rachel on this job then. At least. Oh, I guess we gotta cancel one. Okay, we'll not cancel, so we'll assign Rachel to those two tasks. And let's see if she knows how to cut some wood. Oh, now she's moving. All right, that's what I like to see. Run on over here and get that job done. Beautiful. All right, hopefully the mist doesn't roll in while she's working. That's why Scott left us. He did not appreciate that treatment, make him, making him work during the mist event. <laughs> and then not helping him when he was being attacked. So I think today we're going to try to go find Scott and convince him to come back home. But how about if we have a bite to eat and something to drink? Uh, let's have a Coke. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Okay. Now, I don't want to waste any time. I want to find Scott before he gets himself into trouble. I'm thinking maybe he went back to the bandit camp. Or maybe he just uh, went in one, one direction. Like he was backing up right along this road. And I'm thinking maybe if we follow his path, we might find him just, like, stuck up against a tree or a building or something. Waiting for us to come and get him. He just wants us to come and apologize. And uh, bring him back home, probably, right? I think so. <laughs> He's very sensitive, poor Scott. All right, Rachel, you're in charge. Oh, wait, she's done. Let's go check out that uh, workmanship that Rachel did here. See how she do. Oh, she did a fine job. Look at all that. Excellent work. Okay. Um, you know what I'm going to do, actually, before we go, is let me... A good job on those planks, Rachel. Excellent work. Better than Scott, I have to say. He never made us any good wood. Let's put this stuff away. I'm not going to carry it around with us. And we have extra ammo. Yeah, we might go back to that bandit camp where we found Scott originally. Because I'm thinking maybe he went back there. I mean, I can't imagine why, but maybe they treated him better than we did. <laughs> we'll find out. But I'm thinking maybe if we follow the track that Scott went in, like, maybe he's just stuck on a tree. Because he was going in one direction. Oh, bear. Hey, you didn't eat, you didn't eat Scott, did you, bear? Ow. Ow. Hey. Let me hit the car. This car is already in rough enough shape. He got shot up by bandits. Oh, my gosh. The engine's almost kaput. 1.7%. And 12% with that uh, spark plug. Alright, well, let's have a look around for Scott. He might be here, stuck on a tree or something. 
We're just going to follow his sort of uh, vector, right? In a straight line from the house. And see if he's around. I wonder if Scott got eaten by a bear. No, he couldn't have because he's out here somewhere. The workbench said he was around. He was just too far. All right, I don't see him here on the road hitchhiking or anything. All right, just keep your eyes open. He might be around here somewhere, like, just milling about. Uh, let's check the garage. Scott! Scott! We want you to come back home. Everybody misses you. <laughs> there were a lot of comments about missing Scott and how sad people are about uh, him disappearing on us. So... I think it's in our best interest to find Scott and bring him back home. But I don't see him over here. I wonder if he could climb these mountains. How high can how high can we go in these mountains? Can he go over the mountains? I'm pretty sure this is the edge of the map though. I don't know. Well, tell you what, let's go check the bandit camp first. What time is it? It's almost 11 o'clock. I think that mist is probably going to be rolling in soon. So, yeah, let's go check the bandit camp, which is down here, where we found him at. But keep your eyes open. He might be around here somewhere, waiting for us to come and apologize and bring him back home. Yeah. Uh, I don't see him anywhere. All right, well, let's just go right to that bandit camp and we'll see if he's over there. Maybe they snatched him up again. Maybe he was wandering around all sad and the bandits grabbed him. Let's go find out. This is where we found Scott, right? All right, let's use our bow. I'm gonna switch to hunting arrows. We have five hunting arrows. These are one-shot kills. Is that a dude right there? No. So, oh, that dude just jumped the fence. Did you see that? All right, we can take him out quietly. Like, oh, here he comes. Oh, and there he goes. Did he get us? I don't think so. We're still injured from the last episode. I don't like that he saw us in shot, though, because that might alert the rest of these stinkers. So keep your eyes peeled. Go grab our arrow back. Yeah, these hunting arrows kill in one shot. They're awesome. I'm going to M4. And a little ammunition. That's cool. They usually have, like, fruit and vegetables on them. <laughs> hey, where's my arrow, dude? It's not here. Is there a back way in? Maybe we can just look in through a window. Oh, no! Oh, there's my arrow? It's a basic wooden arrow. Where'd that come from? Oh, that's interesting. All right. Well, let's see if we have any space for it. No, we don't. No, they only stack up to eight. Whoa! Flipping around. Get over here. Get over here. Get in. And now, the miss is here. Great. All right. Let's, uh, can we climb over this? Maybe we can just look in a window. Whoa, look at them all. Now, I wonder if these guys will fight the infected. Will they? I don't know. But I'm going to try to take this guy out here. Oh, you heard that. I think I shot the house. I want that arrow back. <laughs> These things are expensive. We can make more, though. We have uh, we have the ability now. Hold on, I think this guy might be coming around the corner. No. Oh, there he is. Can I take him out from here? Yes, I got him. The other guy's going to check on him. Oh, no, he's dead, buddy. And so are you now. Oh, up we go. Okay, the miss is here. Let's go check. Let's go check on uh, on Scott. Scott! Scott, are you here? Is this where he was? He was held inside this room. <laughs> he's gone. I mean, well, he's not here. He's not here. All right. Well, let's go collect the loot from these bodies. Just make sure there's nobody else around. Oh, there's gas in here. I don't have a gas can on me. All right, here we go. Grab my arrows. And, oh, that's nice. Ammunition. And a carrot, I told you. All right. Oh, 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 oh. And there's my other arrow. Awesome. All right. I think we should go now. 
Oh, infected right there. Watch, oh, here he comes. And there he goes. Dead. I don't want to use rifle ammo. I want to use the shotgun. I have a ton of shotgun ammo. I'll save the rifle ammo for the randits. Shotgun ammo and pistol ammo. It's for the infected. Oh, who are they fighting? <gasps> Wait, is that... Is that Scott? Are they killing Scott? Oh, they're fighting each other. Oh, they're not getting along, these two guys. Fighting over the, the, uh, the bodies out there, the meat. I don't think they can get inside this place. <laughs> oh, there they go. Fighting again. Guys, come on, talk it out. Use your words. It's not worth it. Yeah, this is where Scott was originally, but he's clearly not here. And it doesn't look like any of the loot came back either. So, randits do respawn, but their loot does not. That's too bad. Alright, we're just going to wait out the mist, I think. There's no sense in going out there right now. It's only 12 o'clock. We got all day. We'll find, we'll find that, Scott. If he's out there. Thinking maybe he's on, like, the edge of the map somewhere. I think we need to go to the very, very edges. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes the third guy. Getting nosy. Wants to check out what's going on. Now he's involved. <laughs> hey, buddy. Three's a crowd. Don't you know? They were having a good time smacking each other. And then this random guy jumps into the battle. Man, I really wish we had grenades in this game. And they are coming, by the way. I read it, a developer um, read the roadmap. And apparently we're going to be getting frag grenades and a couple of new infected. One's going to be a boss. Maybe even two bosses. So that's going to be awesome. And you're going to have to kill them with explosives, apparently. They're going to be pretty tough. Hey, guys, just talk it out. Come on, use your words. You don't have to fight. Here comes one guy. Uh, close the door. Close the door. Close the dang door. Holy smokes, I could not grab that doorknob. Because there is no doorknob. All right, well, that was worth a shot to see if it worked. <laughs> now they all know we're here. That guy over there is still fighting nobody. He's just swinging wildly. That's great. One. I'm hitting them, aren't I? Okay. Well, I know they're injured. Definitely stuck them with some arrows. Yeah, yeah, there's an arrow sticking out of that dude's chest. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The mist is about to end. If you guys can't talk it out, then I'll break it up my way. There we go. I think it's just about over. Oh, hold on. I hear some snuffling out there. It's not quite over. Oh, good. There's an arrow. A little sugar. Another arrow. I think we're clear. We still have the mist music, but I don't see any more infected out here. Oh, there's one swinging wildly again. Another one going crazy. What the heck's wrong with these dudes? Oh, there he goes. He's done. All right. Let's see what they all dropped. All right. Got some of my arrows back. And was that it? Um, all right. Let's go. So uh, Scott's not here, obviously. We're going to have to go somewhere else and look around. Let's hop in the car and let's go check the edges of the map. I think maybe he's caught, stuck somewhere on one of the edges, right? All right, let's go, uh, let's go find Scott. Got to be out there somewhere. We're going to go to the edge of the map. How about, you think you got a room at the motel? Oh, maybe. Let's go check the motel. Maybe he got a room here. Now I know there's some infected inside that room right there. Because they did respawn. Oh yeah, you hear him? Scott? Scott, are you here? 
Scott, we want you to come back home. Everybody misses you. We know you're here somewhere, buddy. Scott? Scott, please come back. We have a new roommate. You'll love her. She's really nice. <laughs> oh, bottles. Oh, man. Listen to those infected right up above us. Ooh. Maybe Scott's in there. Hey, Scott. Scott, you don't have to hang out with the infected. We'll take you back, buddy. Oh, man. How many are in there? One, two... All right, there's only two. We can take them. Just two? Oh, hold up. Nope, three. All right, I'll grab that ammo and the taters. Nice. And the sugar. More nine mil. Oh, booze. Booze in the fridge. Still cold. And a knife in there. Oh, what's that? Salt. Salt's good. Oh, we need to go hunting and get get a bear and um, and cook it up and salt that meat because it lasts a nice long time. Plus, we have the refrigerator now, too. But hopefully that bear that we saw on the way here didn't eat Scott. Because if we eat the bear and the bear ate Scott, that'll make us a cannibal. Right? Maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> All right, how about if we, uh, there's not at the motel. Let's, well, I think we need to get back on Scott's original vector. The way he walked away from the house was in sort of a straight line. And my guess is it put him, like, right over here somewhere. Around, around the camp. Um, around the garage or around here. Oh. oh, Scott! There he is! He's up on the mountain! Scotty! Yoo-hoo! That is Scott, right? It's not a bandit. Oh, oh no. Wait, Scott, we're coming for you, pal. How the heck did he get up there? I didn't realize you could go so far in the mountains. Oh, I hope he comes back home with us. Hi, Scott! Scott! Yay! We're so glad you're alive, buddy. We thought we lost you. I did not realize you could come up this far. Oh, no. I hit the wrong button. I just shut the car off. Hi, Scott. Listen, buddy, you gotta come back home with us, okay? Yeah, I know you're shuffling your feet. It's a little awkward. I know I didn't help you in the mist. And I, I try to get you to work in the mist, but I will not do that again. No more working in the mist. I get it. Okay. All right, let's, let's interact with Scott. Scott, go home. All right, Scott, I want you to go home, okay? So his health looks like it actually got dropped by quite a bit. I mean, the NPCs don't start with full health anyway, and they cannot be killed. But his health has gone down somewhat. All right, Scott, come on, buddy. Oh, there's a house right there. Why don't you go home? Come on, we have a new roommate. Her name is Rachel. She's really, really nice. You should go meet her. I'll push you all the way home if I have to, Scott. All right, I don't know how to get Scott back. Can't make him follow us. Listen, you can't live up here in the mountains all by yourself. It's too dangerous. Come on back. Bobby misses you. We all miss you. Uh, come on. Don't be so stubborn. Whoa. Uh, this is for your own good. Come home. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get Scott off this mountain. I can't push him. He's not going to follow us. Oh, man. All right, well, Scott's bugged, so we're just going to leave behind. Well, suit yourself, buddy. If that's how you want it. It's your last chance. Hop in the back. I'll bring you home. Fine! I hope we get eaten by a bear. Goodbye. Well, you know what? Can't stay here forever. We got things to do. Let's get back home. Try giving him his job back. And maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll come back. But I think he's just too far. And I don't know how to get him back. <laughs> Alright. Here we be. I'm going to leave the car right here. Because we might go back to Scott. Let's try to put Scott on a job again. I have a feeling it's still not going to work. He's still too far away. But well, it's worth a shot. Sign work to AI. Scott! Ally is too far away. Ah, all right, Rachel! Combat nurse! Can you do these planks for us, please? Where the heck is Rachel? 
Rachel, oh, there she is. Rachel, what's up? <laughs> it's us. You can let us in. It's okay. She's looking out the window to see who's here. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. I'm going to slam the door in your face. Let me get that for you. There you go. And, um, Rachel. Wait, is Rachel not going to do the job now either? She's not on the job. She forgot. There we go. Let's see if that works. Oh, yeah. See, that's when she really moves. A little bit faster. Okay, I'm going to get organized, and then we're going to head out. Um, I'm going to go try shooting Scott. And see if that works. But before we go, where's all my booze at? Oh, man. Oh, here it is. Um, I want to make... I want to make a couple more bandages. It's running a little low. There we go. Four bandages. Okay, yeah, give me a minute to get organized, and then we're going to head out. Well, sun's going down now, and I don't see Scott running down the lane with his arms open wide coming back home. So I have a feeling, I have a feeling Scott's not coming back ever. Nope. Oh, well. You know what? We got Rachel. And there's one more survivor out there that we can save at one of the bandit bases. So we'll go track down that other person and uh, forget Scott. Forget you, Scott. You know, maybe he'll come to his senses and come back at some point. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, I want to... Uh, let's pull this car back in. The garage and... Er, get out. Get out before you get stuck against the wall. We're going to have to um, put a new engine in, I think. Yeah, down to 0.3%. But before we do that, I want to grab a few more components and some cloth... And we're going to make Rachel a bed. Nice, cozy bed. For one. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Single bed. We could make her a double bed. Hmm. Let's make her a double bed. You never know, right? You just never know. You know, maybe someday she's going to have a friend come and stay. Oh, wait, that's Scott's room. Oh, sorry. Right, right. Rach, come on out. All right. Give me a few minutes. I want to surprise you, though. Don't, don't come in until we're done. All right, let's give her that double bed. Yes. Let's uh, rotate it. Let's put it over here against the wall. Yeah, we'll put it right here under the window. She likes fresh air. That's why she opens all the doors. Um, right about there. Right there. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks so comfortable. Comes complete with a comforter. All right, let's close the door, and let's see, uh, let's, let's spy on Rachel. I want to see how happy she is when she sees that thing. I want to see her reaction. Hmm, maybe we should have some booze to celebrate. Oh, here she comes. Shh. Can't wait to see this reaction. I want to catch it on film. Is she coming? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, I'm going to grab a bottle of booze. Get some, uh, champagne to celebrate this. Yeah. Okay, whoa, hi. Uh, we're not doing anything, just walking around. Checking the perimeter. Good job, Rachel. Hey, um, why don't you take a load off and go to bed? Yeah, you know where your room is, right? Go on. It's getting late. You should go to bed now. She's not ready for bed. Fine. Let's go grab, um, let's go grab some more booze. Yeah, I knew I had made some more booze. All right, three bottles of champagne. It's going to be a good night. <laughs> oh, there she comes. Here she comes. You know what? Let's grab Bobby. Bobby. Bobby, we're gonna have a party for Rachel in her new bedroom. Celebrate that she has a bed, okay? Don't tell her. Keep it a secret. It's gonna be a surprise party. Yeah, let's uh, let's put Bobby in here. It'll be a total surprise. Remember this room, Bobby? <laughs> we put Bobby on the bed. Yeah, stay right there. Oh, where'd he go, Bobby? Did he go under the bed? Bobby, you jumped out the window. Oh, he's so mad that Rachel has this room and a bed, and he never did. He jumped out the window. <laughs> Bobby! Chickens don't sleep in beds. What's wrong with this chicken? He thinks he's a human. And Rachel's still wandering around. Oh, my God. Close the door quick. All right, let's try that again. Bobby, come on. You don't have to be that way. Stay right there, okay? Right on the bed. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Make the bed. Here she comes. Okay, quiet. All right, ready? Three, two, one. We say surprise. 
Three, two, one, surprise! What do you, what do you think? You like it? it oh, what's the matter? She doesn't like the bed. Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of bed do you like? It's the wrong size? Wrong color? Maybe she likes a classic bed. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, I blew it. I should have made it a classic. All right. Well, let's give her some time. She might get over it. I could give her my bed. This is a classic bed. The floral design on the sheets. Yeah. Man, she is not easy to please. Oh, wait. There she goes. There she goes. All right, let's try this again. Surprise! What do you think of your bed? It's nice, right? Not ready for bed yet. <laughs> Either she doesn't like it or she's just not ready for bed. I can't tell. You know what? While we're waiting for Rachel to go to bed, I have an idea with Scott. Let's fire him. Can I fire him? Firing Scott. Alright. There. He does not have permission to enter the shelter. It's official! Scott is no longer welcome here. Rachel, if you see him, shoot him on sight. Or just tell him to leave. Rachel? Rachel! It's time for bed. Come on in now. Rach, there she is. Rachel, come on in now. It's time for bed, okay? Come on, I'll tuck you in. It's bedtime. Let's celebrate. Please? Please come to bed? Okay, I think this is it. I think it's I think it's now her bedtime. Yes. Seems about right. Coming in? No. Oh, yes, she is. Okay. Listen. Get to bed. Oh, there she goes. And she's moving fast. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta celebrate. Oh, wait. Where's she going? No! Not on the floor in the hall! <laughs> what are you doing? Wake up! Get up! First of all, we have to celebrate. With this champagne right here. Whoa! She just ran away, too. Wait, did she leave us? No. She's back. Rachel, you have a bed in a bedroom. What are you doing? You know, I worked hard on that thing. I whacked it for an hour and a half with a wrench. The least you could do is sleep in it. We're near it. Rachel doesn't like her bed. So be it. Well, you know what? You can't please everybody. All right. Anyway, that's it for now. This episode is complete. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to hop into bed. Oh, gosh, I need some water first. Oh, man. That booze made me thirsty. Eh, drink a Coke. This Coke is spoiling. Caffeine's going to keep me up all night. All right, now I'm going to go to bed. Close that door. Let's get a good nine hours of sleep. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Good night.